Hey everybody, Sophie Line here. Today I'm extremely proud to announce my new project for the summer. I'm working with the Pima Air and Space Museum to bring you guys a series of videos that features their collection and includes not just that collection, but also their workshop, their volunteers, and their community. The collection itself is massive. They have nearly 500 aircraft and there's a ton of other macro artifacts and exhibits. It spans the history of aviation all the way through to modern day. So it includes representatives from each U.S. service branch and the disciplines within those, so not just combat, but logistics and transport, anti-submarine warfare, early warning systems, all, all sorts of stuff. But it also includes civil and commercial aviation. It includes the experimental aircraft, exhibits that connect you with the mechanical workings, but also the human elements, and it includes a lot of human stories along the way. That sort of thing is 100% my bag if you're new here. Um, I love to get into the history and they have several hangar buildings, they have displays, exhibits, as well as this incredibly distinctive, extremely massive outdoor park of preserved aircraft. You can see it in the clips. Their collection includes a lot of these well-known classics, maybe some of your favorites, but there's also a ton to discover in between. And, and so I've really enjoyed the, the big challenge of choosing just a few each month to feature on my channel, along with the usual excitement of tank season, armored history features, and a very special surprise coming along in the fall. More on that later. To speak on it a little bit personally, I grew up going to air museums. There were a lot of family road trips and more than a few pilgrimages made by my father and I, getting out and seeing some of the classic aircraft, getting into the history. I've been encouraged by more than a few of you guys to branch out and my channel is continuing to feature tanks, absolutely gonna continue to feature tanks, armored history, the good stuff, the usual stuff. But I'm extremely proud to share my collaboration with Pima. I can't wait to show you what they've got and hopefully inspire some of you guys to come down and see it for yourself if you haven't already. Or perhaps take another look if you already have. But along with such an incredibly large collection comes a big challenge for myself as a creator. And so I challenge you to help me pick um, some of the aircraft to feature. I'm gonna share a link down in the description. This is gonna take you to their website page that includes all the aircraft that they have in there. Find your favorites or share your specific interests. Let me know what you want and I'll work with the plain encyclopedia of employees and volunteers and the huge community that this museum have and we'll make a video. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comments. Speaking of plain encyclopedias, my very first interview at this museum is going to feature Mr. Scott Marchand, he's the director, and I'm going to share an excerpt, the full interview I'm going to put out next month, but I encourage you to listen in on his perspective of what they have to share and why they share it. It's really interesting, like when I first came here was just as a visitor, and something that I kind of experienced was it's all just, it's here. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and if you want to, you can get in there. There's like audio tour stuff that you can focus on if you want to hear a little bit more about one aircraft more than another one. There's tours available and stuff. There's inside exhibits, but it's all just here. And yeah. you can come with a favorite in mind and learn more about it, or you can come with an idea in mind and learn something new, but it's all just here for you to learn from. Yep. Is there like a specific, that's kind of what I experienced. You mentioned in one of our previous conversations, you guys have 200,000 guests a year about. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's a lot of folks from all walks of life. Yes. You, yeah. you see these huge aircraft just right off the road. It's like, oh, check it out, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so there's so many different, what are, what are the, the main vision that you have for your guests to come? What do you want them to walk away with? Hmm. You know, I want them to walk away with their curiosity peaked, right? Um, you know, curiosity brought them here, and there's a lot of things that, you know, people can continue to discover and learn from. Um, you know, it, it, it's a little bit, you know, it sounds a little bit trite because everybody expresses it, but, you know, inspiring, you know, younger generations, giving, you know, kids exposure to stuff or, you know, but inspiration comes at any age, right? Sure. Uh, you know, you're never too old to learn something new if you're, if you're so inclined. Um, but, you know, when I think about, you know, speaking of my own experience, you know, I mean, I, I I've got lifelong interests in, in, in various things and I've picked up new things as I've gotten older and they've sort of fallen by the wayside. But the things that really formed and captured my imagination all happened to be before the age of 10, right? Mm. So when you're a young kid, you know, you're sort of, you know, naive and, and open to all, you know, all the experiences of the world throwing at you, whether, you know, it's playing sports or going fishing for the first time or your first airplane ride or, you know, whatever it is, right? Something somewhere, and, and I'll guarantee anybody who's watching this, if they really think hard about it, they could probably relate and say, yeah, no, I mean, the, the thing that planted that lifelong interest that I always go back to happened before the age of 10, you know, whether it was a, it was a school trip to a museum or a summer camp and a trail ride. I mean, something 
something sparked you, right? And that, that's really what I, fundamentally that's what I want to see happen. Because, it, I mean, that's what happened to me. You know, museums really formulated who I've become, right? Sure. And it's been really, it's been really rewarding for me to be able to have a career in museums. It's not an easy field to get into, it's not an easy field to stay in, and it's not an easy field um, to prosper in. And I, I, and I don't mean the, the word prosper you know, strictly as a financial sense, but, um, you know, I'm continuously learning in this job. Like, you know, when I, when I started here, I mean, I certainly had, you know, the airplanes and the, and the, the parts of history that I had spent a lot of time immersing myself in, and there were countries, eras, types of aircraft that I really hadn't generated a lot of interest in, right? Sure. Um, I mean, I wasn't really all that interested in commercial aircraft before I started. I mean, I, you know, recognized them and there they were, but, you know, they really just sort of seemed to be more just sort of like flying Greyhound buses, right? <laughs> So, you know, nowhere near as dynamic and sexy as the military stuff or sure. the experimental stuff. Um, you know, but having spent time here and, and being involved with, you know, the various aircraft manufacturers and, and the airlines and the people that um, uh, make, make it happen, you know, it, it peeled back a curtain. You go, holy shit, yeah, that's a really fascinating side of, of things that it just, you know... A, a lot of these things are hidden, right? You, like, you really have to fight and struggle and dive into stuff to learn a lot of these things. So, you know, being able to come here and have us help pull the curtain back a little bit and give somebody a more, um, a more, you know, a more curated exposure <laughs> to yeah. some of this stuff, right? Yeah. Um, you know, and, and you touched before about, you know, our visitors and of course, you know, everybody's attracted here by the machines and, and you know, the horsepower, the firepower, the, you know, the record setters. But you know, what would really, what these are is these are, these are touchstones. These are, you know, they're, they're inanimate objects that people project their emotions and memories into and onto. Um, all of these things were designed by people, created by people, maintained by people, operated by people, and preserved by people. So this is really, we're a human story told in aluminum. Absolutely. Yeah, that's <laughs> right? a great you way know? of putting it. Yeah. Um, and that's what brings people in, right? You know, it's whether, you know, like now it be, you know, the 60-year-old whose uncle or father was a World War II veteran yeah. or, you know, the 50-year-old whose father was a Vietnam veteran or the 30-year-old whose uncle was in Desert Storm. I mean, you know, history, you know, time and, and history are relentless, right? So... As history moves forward, you know, our, our mission expands, right? I mean, the, you know, aerospace history is kind of this inverted V, right? It starts really <laughs> narrow yeah. and shallow, and over time, it's just, it's kind of exploded, and it's kind of coming back a little bit, but it's never going to stop, right? So right. We, we sort of have, a, we, we have uncharted horizons yeah. for, for what we're going to be doing here. Hmm. That's awesome. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. It's a good yeah. way. Uncharted horizons is a good yeah. way of putting it. Yeah. Interestingly said, I'm very inspired. I think um, <laughs> I have so much to choose from, but we have a good roadmap of where to start. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you can't go wrong. Like anything you could throw a proverbial stick at yep. and hit here is interesting. But I have yeah. some great inspirations for our first, um, our first aircraft to take a yeah. look at and look through. Yep. So I'm very excited and, yeah. uh, and we'll get into it. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it's, it's, it's great that you're finally crossing over, but, uh, you know, we're going both ways too. And Absolutely. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that later on yep. as we uh, uh, develop our relationship. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll get out of this workshop and, uh, and we'll get out there and we'll, we'll go talk about some aircraft. Great. Awesome. See you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. The next videos in the series will be out shortly and it would be great if you follow along. The first events of tank season are also underway and I'll be off to those shortly as well. There is more content to come and I will see you there.